Hey, here's just a little bit of something else. Uh, I want to talk about why you fit 2005, you 55 a little bit. I noticed something whenever I was looking at this. I hadn't really been looking at much of the stuff here because I knew what what the date and everything was. But they looks like they've sized it down here. And this is uh, spaceweather.com. I believe I remember they used to say 400 is what I thought. Now 200 meters. Well, that's not 1,300 feet. And I believe I remember when this was first talked about, they said it was 1,300 feet. And I believe the other article said four football fields, and that would be 400 yards, and that would be 1,200 feet, and 200 meters is, you know, roughly 600 feet. Well, I just wanted to show that. Anybody else notice that? Yeah, I've... I don't remember if I've got that on my past videos when I talked about YU-55. I'll have to go through them and look. But I swear I, I remember that said 400 meters a while back. Well, that's just something I wanted to break out and add to that may have been sized down some. So... This is the tsunami.gov page. And you can come here and see their site talking about their tsunami centers and what they have and what they operate. All their little different programs. This is uh, international. Here's your Pacific and the West Coast and Alaska. So they're going to have that drill or that little practice run about the same time. Well, the same area of time. Ye55 is going to be coming by. <clears throat> An interesting point you might think of and this here is about uh, the drill pack wave 11 Pacific wave 11 but uh, you know it may not be that it's actually going to hit the moon per se but maybe this little drill does give them a practice run and at the same time position them uh, in case something were to happen. You know what I'm saying? So, it's going to be held on the 9th and 10th. And it's going to allow the countries to exercise using a destructive local or regional scenario. Pack Wave 11 will also be used to introduce new advisory products that were proposed. And interest requested. Okay. May 13th announced the exercise requested PTWS countries to nominate a Pack Wave 11 focal point. So. These must be our focal points then in the Pacific region area. So they're going to have it, and and then whenever you think to uh, what is the outcome? Well, probably nothing. I mean, in all eventuality. Uh, However, the one thing that we do know that's going to happen out of it, that we can 
say concretely that's planned and they're going to carry that out is evidently that the, whenever communications are stopped so everything is being talked about now for a three minute period of communication blackout like no TV uh, internet so we we do know they're going to do that supposedly and that's pretty pretty assured and a while back a lot of people didn't like him or nothing but sometimes he'd tell you some stuff even Alex Jones said a while back that they wanted to take over the internet and they wanted to introduce a, a so to speak a dark version of the internet the internet behind the internet the internet we'd see on our screen well maybe that would look like normal to us but but we'd really be running on an internet behind the internet and getting filtered and blocked and stuff like that and only allowed content that uh, they wanted us to see so that's something to think about there is those three minutes and the time that I'm hearing is right about 1 p.m. So all these things, it is something to watch. And that's all you can really do. You're already prepared. We've had some incidents that we were prepared for, or tried to prepare for. You know, instead of the new Madrid split with an earthquake, it turned out to be a flood. And then you had all the devastating tornadoes and around there too that just destroyed a lot of things so we've already had that well <clears throat> this may not be anything splash down or hit the land or anything and from what I have looked at for a while like I said uh, it looked to me like like the earth wasn't in any jeopardy and it looks like it's going to go by the moon unless something alters it to me so if it keeps doing what it's doing it looks like you can just look up and you'll be able to see something that you won't see probably for a long time hopefully we won't but you know nothing's fail safe And when I th when I think about it, I believe somewhere in the prophecy, I believe she said an event in the sky. Uh, so that must be some kind of bright happening, uh, and it made me think of two things colliding and I thought maybe two comets you know something like that something that crashed into each other and made a uh, big collision and light show fantastic show but I guess there may be a different scenario where you could say the moon was an object that got hit but that would uh, you know, that wouldn't be good either for us down here if that were to happen. So, I don't believe it will. I just want to kind of reassure everyone that it is something to prepare for, just in case. You know, Elenin did not do what maybe we kind of thought it would, and we're glad. But still, we all know how to be ready. It, there's not a whole lot you can do anyway, except watch what's going on and know know what is going on 
you should be able to see it, I believe. I'll, I'll check into that. Well, where I'm at, I believe I'll be able to, depending on the cloud cover. But, uh, you know, y'all can check your time zones and stuff and see if you're projected to be able to see it. But I believe, I believe a whole lot of people are going to be seeing it wherever they're at. At some point. And you know, maybe not everyone, but there'll be a lot that will. So we shall see with YU-55. The telescopes will be pointed at it, and eyes will be upon it, and we'll be looking to see what happens to the moon. But odds and percentages are, and from what everything looks like, nothing. It looks like it'll fly by just as it's projected, unless something changes it. And we just have to see if anything does. So far it doesn't look like anything is that, that I've been able to find out about. So that's pretty pretty much it. Uh, Alaska did have a 6 and a 5.8 earthquake. And I haven't heard of any other larger ones. China had a couple of 5's in the 5 range, 5.4 or so, 5.5. Five, five. Japan had a cluster of fours. But other than that, uh, everything seems to be pretty good. Well, not pretty good, but stable. We'll just put it that way. So I'll let everybody go. Just wanted to put that up there about YU-55 and, and what I had seen about the size over here. And y'all can find out if you got anything on your past videos or anything. I think that said 400. Yeah, that would be a few months ago. So correct me if I'm wrong on that. But 200 meters does not equal 1,300 feet. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that's what they said it was months ago. It was 1,300 feet. But... You can correct me on that if I'm wrong. I'm going to check my past videos. I believe I have it in it somewhere. And I'll speak to everyone soon. Y'all take it easy. Keep looking up. God bless everyone.